What's up everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. On today's video, we got a good one. We've got the Old Forester Single Barrel 100 Proof Black Label. Okay, so the Black Label. Found this in my most recent bourbon hunting video I did and, you know, I had to crack it. I did come home and at least pop the top undo the plastic, get a little bit of air in there that day. So hopefully that helps open it up a little bit. I don't know if it needs it or not, but this is the Maryland selection there. It is from Warehouse L Floor 3 coming in at 100 proof. After the repeal of prohibition, my grandfather, George Garvin Brown II, developed a single barrel expression of Old Forester specifically for bourbon aficionados. It was the first single barrel bourbon for sale since the passage of the Bottled and Bond Act in 1897. Today, we honor the legacy of firsts that Old Forester began in 1870 with this hand-selected offering. So, I do have a uh, single barrel barrel proof. This is not that. This is That's the blue label. This is the black label. And to be honest, I've seen way less black labels. This is the first one I've ever actually seen in person. This is the Maryland selection. So I'm super excited to try it with you all today. I did recently get this, like I said, at Angel Share Wine and Spirits in Gambrel slash Crofton, Maryland. They were super awesome there. If you guys are anywhere in the Maryland, Prince George's County, DC area, definitely go check them out. A lot of really good people, very friendly, very helpful, and I was able to get this bottle there, obviously. So let's go ahead and get into it today. Let's pop the top, get the nosing straight out of the bottle. Everyone's least favorite part of my channel. Here we go. Ooh, that's very cherry and wood. Very cherry and wood. Bit of vanilla cream. Cherry, wood, vanilla cream. Dominating the nose there. Really excited to try this one today. Haven't had, I think, an Old Forester in quite a bit now. It's been probably several months since I actually drank one of their offerings. But go ahead and get the nosing out of the glass. Before I do, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe on this video. And if you really want to hit join down as $2 a month, you get your name on the intro screen saying thank you. And you get access to all my videos as they're uploaded. Normally they are scheduled releases normally on Mondays and Thursdays. But if you are a channel member and you hit that join button, the second that it uploads to YouTube, you have access to it. All right, here we go on the note. Mm, out of the glass, there's a lot more wood and spice on there. Wood and like a very cherry cinnamon spice. It smells really good. It smells like a dessert, like some kind of cherry crumble dessert with some vanilla ice cream and some, some cinnamon on there. It smells really, really nice. I'm excited to try this one today. It's got some good legs. I don't know how well that's going to show up there on the camera, but yeah, excited to do it today. The day that I'm recording this, at least, it's draft day. So got the Ravens gear on. Good luck to everybody. Let's go. Cheers. Ooh. Okay, so I was a little nervous coming into this because the single barrel barrel proofs are normally so good. And I was like, this thing can't really probably compete with that. But especially at 100 proof compared to the barrel proof, and I'm kind of a proof poor, so I was a little bit worried about it. But upon first sip, that was extremely good. Yeah. Definitely a lot of cherry, but it's not like a overly sugary cherry. It's like a kind of a more tart cherry, I would say. Definitely some sweet oak in there. Just like in little underlying hints of that cinnamon spice. Just a little bit of a dab of vanilla. Not nearly as much vanilla on the palate as on the nose, but this, if you like cherry, this thing is absolutely cherry amazing. I'd actually say it drinks slightly hotter than 100 proof, which I like because I like the elk going down in the throat a little bit. So I think it drinks slightly hotter than the 100 proof that it's coming in at, but that cherry flavor is just phenomenal. Maybe one of the better cherry flavors that I've experienced in quite some time. Like a lot of times you get that cherry flavor and it's super sugary or it's super a little bit uh, medicine-like or like metallic background. This is just like a nice, Heart cherry with those oak and cinnamon and vanilla background flavors. It's very nice. Mm, that time, that was the first time I got a little bit of creaminess on there. 
It's not too viscous overall, but on that sip, I did get a little hint of it in there, so I do appreciate that as well. See if I get another hint of that viscosity on there on this one, or if it was just a one-off. No, yeah, it's got a little bit on there. It's got a little bit of viscosity on there, not too much at all, but it does just for a couple seconds there coat the tongue. And that cherry just, man, that cherry is so good. It really might be the best cherry flavor that I've ever had. If I had any complaints, I would say that it is really, really good at what it does. Like superb at what it does, but it's got like those kind of three, four, five notes in there and I'm not getting a whole lot else. But man, that is... Yeah, that's that's excellent. I love it. So let's go ahead and rank this thing on the tier system today. It's really, really good. It's actually exceeded my expectations. I think my expectations were maybe it's probably all right, but not quite as good as the barrel proof version of it. But I'll tell you what, it has exceeded my expectations by far on this black label single barrel 100 proof Maryland selection from Old Forester. I'm a big Old Forester fan, so let's let's do one big one big last sip and then rank it on the tier system. Yeah, that cherry is just phenomenal. So I think on the tier system today, I'm officially going to put it on the A tier. I have to. It's so good, especially for the price. I got this for $65, $67, something like that. It's probably hard to get that price, I would think. Uh, if you just kind of stumble upon it regularly, they're probably marked up because they're they're pretty rare, at least in my area. It's, like I said, that's the first black label that I've ever seen uh, in person. So yeah, they're normally probably marked up at least close to $100. So at that price level with you know that cherry flavors and the wood on there and everything it's 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 excellent it's definitely a tier for me it's uh definitely exceeded my expectations today yeah yeah that's really good i'm super excited to have this now on my bar which hopefully one day will look a lot cooler than this uh little office that i'm in so hey hopefully you guys enjoyed today's review of the old forester single barrel black label if you did Write something down in the comments below if you've had it before let me know do you think did you get the same kind of notes that i did i'd be interested i know there's not a lot out there and plus it's a single barrel so it's going to vary obviously from bottle to bottle but this is the maryland selection from 2024 i liked it a lot hopefully you guys like this video i'll see you for your next drink